हेलो इज नॉल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम मैं करेंगे अल्फाबेट रंगोली एक्चुअल दिस प्रॉब्लम माइट बी अ बिट डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू इफ यू आर इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द विथ एन ऑल वी कैन डू दिस यू जस्ट नो नीड टू नो सम ऑफ द फंक्शन फ्रॉम द स्ट्रिंग क्लास इन पाइथन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू सी द साइज इज थ्री देन यू जस्ट आर गोइंग टू गो टू अप टू थ्री लेटर्स राइट ए बी सी इफ द साइज इज फाइव देन यू गो अप टू फाइव लेटर्स दैट इज फ्रॉम ए अप टू ई And if size is one, then you'll just go up to one letter, which is just A. So if the size is one, you'll just go. You're just going to print out A. If the size is two, you're just going to basically just have to take care of this middle line. So if the, suppose the side size is two, then you'll print out B A B. That is only this much part, and between B A B there are two spaces. That is C. There are three letters B A B, and between three there are two spaces. Right. So that's why three plus two is the total length will be five. And suppose the size is three now. So you're going to print out C B A. And after that again, again B C, which means C. There are how many letters? One, two, three, four, and five. That is to in total there are five letters, and between five letters there can be four spaces. That is the total width of this will be five plus four, which is nine. So I actually have it written. So see, if the size is one, then we are just going to print out A. That's it. But if the size is two, so if the size is two, I told you are B A B. That is, we'll just print out B A B. So between three letters there are two spaces, right? So the total width will be. This much, Be because in between the spaces we are just going to print out the hyphen. So three three letters, two spaces. That is three plus two five. So when the length is two, we'll print out the width is going to be five. We'll not print out anything up to now. So the width is just going to be five. So if the you know if size is three, that is if n is equal to three, then obviously three four five letters and four spaces. That is five plus four, which is nine. And then we can go to up to four. So if it is four, then see. Now when it is four, you will have to print out d as well. So basically, you're going to print out. D C B A B C D. That is D C B three letters, four, five, six, and seven. That is there will be total seven letters, and in between seven letters there can be six spaces. That is total width will be seven plus six, which is thirteen obviously. And you can go from five and on. You can just count it. But this is actually an AP. So this is an AP which say the first term. So I am just going to write the first term as A. So A is equal to one in this AP. Then the common difference D. The common difference is if you see between each and every Element the difference is four, so the consecutive difference is four, and the last, the first element. Actually, we want to calculate the last element, and in terms of n. So we know the formula of T n, which is the you know generalized term, which is equal to a plus n minus one d. And in okay, hold on, what am I doing? Yeah, so a is not five, a is one. So because see, we are starting from one, so a is going to be n obviously. So when a is one, which we are just going to substitute the values, a plus n minus one d, and we'll get the generalized width as t n four n minus three. So for each n, the width is going to be that. So suppose n is equal to zero, then width is one. N is two, then two four into eight, eight minus three is going to be five. So in this way, we are just going to get all the values. So this is nothing but the width four n minus three. So that was about explanation about the width and all. So for printing out the elements and all, I have to import the string class. Why am I doing this? Is because I can use get the alphabets directly. So I just write alphabets, and I'll use the ASCII dot lower. So For that I'll need the string object. So I'll just write string, not str. Yeah, string dot ASCII dot lower case. Yeah, and ASCII underscore lower case. Remember. Let us first of all print out alphabet so that you guys understand what it is. If you don't know what they are, so yes, there seems to be something wrong because I didn't write print alphabet. So yeah, I'll just run this code. So basically, this is nothing but the alphabets that I want to print out on my screen from A to Z. But I just don't want them completely. So suppose size is three, then I just want A B C. And so on. So basically, you guys know you guys are that smart that you know you are just going to get the alphabets up to n. So I'll just write n equals. So first of all, let us take the integer input. So not only input, I'll just write integer input. So fine, that is easy. And after that, let us do one thing. Let us use a for loop for that. So actually, I need an empty list. I'll tell you all why. I just know I need it. So because I'm going to use a list to append the values into it. First of all, let us do easy things. So I'll just use a for loop. So say for i in range, you know the range is going to be i. So not i n because there are obviously n letters. That is sign size is three. That is size is n in this case. So that's why. So first of all, let us write a what normal string. So suppose this is a string with a hyphen because they or a dash whatever you want to call it because this is the most important part the dash thing. But now remember you have to join it with something else. So if you don't know the join function, I'll have to explain it to you all. So I'll just use a rough file. So suppose I have a string equals to this thing hyphen. And I can have a list now, so a list with random values. Like, hold on, yeah, I'll have to use a list normally. This is going to take time, but it is fine. You guys need to understand what is the join function and all. So this is one, two, and three, and equals to. 
yeah this is my l and i just print out s dot join so print out s dot join and whatever join is l so basically what will this do it will join one two three with a hyphen see one two three with a hyphen so basically one then hyphen then two then hyphen okay hold on then hyphen and then three that's what we want to do that's why i actually used an mts because i'm going to use that so fine okay what i'm doing yeah this is the right code so that's why i use the hyphen in the in place of the string so that i can use that but i'll use this thing afterwards so let it be a comment for now i just explain it to us so fine so now we'll do one thing first of all i'll just write print out something so i'll print out alphabets but i want the only three alphabets suppose size is three then i want only three alphabets that is from a b to c so i can do one thing i can go from i and i'll just stop at n so what will this and i'll print it out obviously so let us do one thing let's print out alphabets of i up to n yeah i'm just basically traversing through this thing so just run this code see this this is the string that i want but i don't want that i'll just write size as 3 so you got 3 so a b c b c and c why because when size is 3 then it printed out this thing because it will go from 0 up to 3 then it is fine then it will go from because i will be 1 now so it will go from 1 up to 3 so that is this much that is bc that's why a b c then b c then it will just print out c that's what we had to do fine but you can do one thing you can you have to join these things by hyphen right i told you all you can use the join function by basically using that you can basically join them by using that thing what am i saying i don't understand myself so i'll just write s equals to i had that hyphen now so this is a hyphen dot join i'll use the join function now and i just joined them this is my s and let us do one thing let us first of all print it out so let us print out s first so i'll just go back to my line yeah so let us print out s in the for loop only so suppose again let us say the size is 3 now see we got a b c then b c and then c but something looks wrong right because that we don't want a b c directly so what we did we printed out a b c but a b c is right here over this side then a b c after that they have b c and c so basically we printed out the half part of the string that is a b c b c and c and if you see we are not printing out the upper part of the string we are starting from the lower part of the string and i'll we can print out the upper part if you can print the lower part obviously you can just reverse the string so we print out abc then bc and then c so basically this string is nothing but the reverse part so this string is nothing but the reverse of this string but by you know just you just don't add a so basically you have this string you will you know concatenate this string by with this string but you just have to remove a basically this is this string and this string so hold on this string is the reverse of this string that's what we have to do so for getting the reverse of the string you just have to and first of all concatenate it and just reverse the string with say first of all let us do one thing first of all let us let us just reverse the string so i'll just for reversing a string this is the easy thing you that i i hope you all know just write minus 1 in the last step part so if you write 3 you got the string right c b a c b and c and if you check now so that's what we had to do so c c b a c b and c so we are fine with this part of the code that is half part of the pattern we did now we just have to concatenate it right so first of all let us do one thing let us directly join in s to it so now let us run this code and let us say again 3 so i just concatenated the reverse part of the string with this string s so now what happened over here is c it printed out c b a and it reversed it and it printed out a b c then it printed out c b it reversed it and it printed out b c again it printed out c and it, the c was reverse of c is c but you don't want a over here so and actually the pattern is like that c b a and b c so remember c b a b c so c c b a and b c that's what we want we don't want extra a over here so if you don't want this extra a you can just print out this s not starting from zero just start that from 1 and up to the length of the string whatever it is or whatever it is you know i don't i don't want to get in the details so if you write 3 now so check it out so see c b a a b c that's what we wanted so see c b a a b c then after that c b c and then c so see c b c and then c so if you see we are done with the half part of the code now you can just use the center to print it out so i'll actually do one thing this is my s right but you don't want to print it out like that so i'll do one thing i'll append that into l so i'll just write l dot append and you appended it so now i'll do one thing i'll just print out l simply and just run this code say 3 so see that's what we wanted to do and it is fine now let us first of all print it out so i'll use one more for loop for that so for i in l i'll use this easy one so just print out l but you don't want that as of now basically this part is the reverse part so actually instead of printing the reverse part first let us do one thing 
I'll use the center uh, center function. So let us use the center part. So I'll do one thing. I'll use a for loop for that. I why did I don't know why I erased it. So for i and l, let us print out i. So remember i is going to be a string over here because in this l everything is a string. So that's why. So I'll do one thing. I'll use the center function. So see if you see center the width and fill character we have to mention. So the width is going to be what I told you are four and four and minus three. We calculated it. That's why from the first. So four and minus three, which is going to be four into n minus three. So this is the width and how many times? No, not how many. This is the width. That is how many times do I have to print it? And afterwards, what I want the fill character. That is the spaces are going to fill by what character? So they are going to fill by hyphen. We know that everywhere there is hyphen only. So let us just run this code and see what happens now. So just write C and I don't want to print out L. This is just of no use. And let us again run it and write three. So if you see, we have C B C A C B A B C and whatever it is, you know. So if you check, this is the lower part of the string. That is C B A A B C whatever. Now what I want to do is just print out the upper part of the string by reversing it. So basically, what you are going to do is you want to print. Oh, you want to print this out afterwards. So first of all, just give some spaces. First, we want to reverse the string. So for I in. Now you can do this thing. You can directly reverse the list. As you reverse this thing, just give colon colon and just write minus one. So this is a reverse list. So let us do one thing now. Let us print out the same thing that I did over here. So print out i into i dot center width is going to be four and minus three, and the fill character is going to be hyphen. Now just run this code. So for this part of the code, what will happen? I'll just run this code. So okay, we see something happening over here, but I'll just for now I'll just comment this part out so that you guys understand what is happening with the code. So just comment. Okay, I am not able to comment it. Fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, comment and comment and run this code. So if you write three over here, okay, something looks wrong. Ah, this statement. I commented on the wrong for loop. Yeah, just run this code now and enter three. Press. So see, this is the upper part of part of the code. That's what we wanted. I just basically printed out this thing as I told you all. But what I did, I just reversed it and printed out this thing. So first of all, we had the lower part of this pattern. But I reversed it and I printed it out the upper part. The upper part is nothing but the reverse of the lower part. So I hope you understood what I did over here. And I'll just print out both the things at the same time now. That is the reversed part and the basically this is the original part and this is the original part. So this is the reversed part. So reverse part and after that I'm going to print out the original string that we did. So see if you see this string we don't want, but we want these the, these all parts and we want these all parts. Basically, this is a repetitive repetitive part. So I don't want these this part. So you can do one thing. So you can do one thing. Instead of go, going from here from you know from zero, you're going to going. If you write this, you're going from zero up to the length of the string, right? So not string list. So don't go from zero. Just go from index one. So that. So actually, if you see, this is the zeroth index. Then this is the first index, and this is the second index. So if you go from one, it will print out one, and it will print out second. It will not print out this thing if you start from one over here. So let's run this code. And again, I'll print. I'll write three and enter. Yeah, I hope this this is right now. I can just do one thing. I'll copy the code that they have because they have some predefined code that they want to print it out. So I'll just copy this code. And I'll paste it over here in Python. So I'll just paste this thing over here, and we just have to paste our code over here. And fine. So I'll just first of all import the string and alphabets, whatever it is. I'll just copy this and let us paste it over here. So we got the string class, and we just got the alphabet channel, whatever we wanted. And we don't want to print the alpha alphabet, so I'll not copy that. And n equals to integer input, they have already took it, so I don't have to take it again. So basically, I need to just copy the part from list. Up to the end of the for loop. So just copy the list part, and your code goes here. Okay, fine. My code went there, and I'll just copy this part now because I just want that much. And copy, simply paste over after this line. So yeah, uh, okay. This all is fine. If there is just a comment, so fine. Okay, I just wouldn't have done that. I'll just run this code and let's see what happens now. Because still it might give us an error, which it did because I forgot to do something. Yeah, alphabets. So yeah. I'll have to copy this part and paste it over here. They just have predefined code. That's why it just gives me some problem with it. Okay, I didn't submit it. Hold on. Yeah, and import and fine. Now I hope it works. Just run it. Yeah, it is fine. I hope everything works now. 
yeah each and every test case has satisfied there is no so that's all from my side you can subscribe to my channel for more program related content until then stay tuned and keep learning thank you